Hey! Hey, hi! Come here! Hey, thanks so much for joining me here today on Gina Haynes TV. Today we are at the Weber Brothers Circus Big Top and we are going in to talk with the ring mistress, Meryl Cassie. And she loves her work. I'm off to join the circus. Come on, join me! <laughs> Hello Meryl. Hello. Now well, first of all I want you to introduce yourself and I want you to tell me what you do. Sure, so my name is Meryl Cassie and I am the ringmistress for the Weber Brothers Circus. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm doing currently. I've been involved in film and television and music my whole life. But um, first time for me for the circus. And how long have you been doing it for? I ran away with the circus <laughs> about two and a half years ago. Like literally packed up our bags and People say it all the time, they you know, they ran away with the circus, but I did, me and my kitties, and yeah. off we went. <laughs> Fantastic, and do you, do you like what you do? I love it, like I genuinely love it. Yeah. Like I say, I've been involved in film and television my whole life, but to be honest with you, sharing a stage with so many amazing, talented uh, performers has been a highlight of my career so far, Yeah. because you can do your own thing, you know, from time to time, but when you engage and are a part of an experience like this, I think it's it's pretty special. Yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. I, I love it. It's pretty exciting. It's cool, yeah. yeah. You know, I know that I really am that kid that's sitting there <sighs> gobsmacked. I know, yeah. I love it. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah, yeah. It's cool. yeah. I love it, and I think one of the things that I love most about it is that, it, you know, it's not something you wake up in the morning, well, I don't know about you, but why do you, why do people run off and join the circus? Because it's so fantastic and yeah. you, you travel and you see the world and you meet so many amazing people. It's not for everyone, yeah. you know, but I personally love it, my kids love it, the performers here love it. Most of them have been born into this world. Um, so for me who hasn't, who joined later on, it is something that you get hooked on as well, like you yeah. just love it so much. Before those curtains open, I just get excited every time. Yeah. Like, bring it on, let's go, we're gonna have a good time with everybody yeah, and yeah. Um, we're gonna embrace the amazing performers that we have here and all have a good time together. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're the ring mistress, so yeah. what is it that, that drives you? Well, not only the passion for performing, because yeah. like I say, I genuinely love that, but I think it, sharing an experience like this with the crowd like seeing the look on people's faces from beginning to end like it's a two-hour show yeah. where you're entertaining people with a variety of international acts and i think seeing and sharing the joy yeah. and others loving what you do i think that's that's what makes it as well it keeps you going Keeps yeah, us yeah. going, yeah. It's like a shared passion. Uh, yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, um, yeah. And I mean, you guys have been to the show. You guys are just screaming and yeah, smiling, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then that makes us happy, yeah. you know. Do you have to amp up your performers? You know, what is your role as the ringmistress? So my role is to, most importantly, get the crowd going. Okay. Making them feel a part of the experience as well. And also keeping the show informative too. So I'll explain a little bit about each act without giving too much away because they want to see it for themselves. Yeah, yeah. And providing the live entertainment. You kind of stitch yeah. it all together, don't you? I think so. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's what I try to do and I hope I'm fulfilling that. So, um, well, I'm, I thought you did. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So what do you think your strengths are? I love people. Okay. I think I love people. I've been I've been brought up in a very social environment. So I think that would be one of my strengths. So when I walk out on the stage, yeah. I just give it my all because I, I love doing what I do. Yeah, yeah. And I like to talk a lot too. So yeah. Like, yeah. And performance is obviously performance, yep. I I normally I sing in the show. Um, I oh, sing okay. for the finale. So what do you sing? Um, for this one it changes all the time, but absolutely everybody. You guys are probably know that. Absolutely, Absolutely everybody, 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 everybody. See? I know it, yeah, yeah. She knows it. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> I can yeah. do it. It was either rock star or TV show host. I'm <laughs> rock star, yeah. Yeah, you're going to run away with the circus, are you, Jen? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. She's no. thinking about it now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if you could only use three words to describe yourself, Mel, what would they be? Fun. Yeah. Sam, pretty fun. Um, loving. When you're a parent, you have to be. Yeah. And I reckon I have a bit of a cheeky side to me. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So that little combination. Yeah. 
And you bring those into your work? Yes, yeah. yeah. And that's the thing I think too, because you know, if you're acting, you're a character. Um, but if you perform and you're out on the stage presenting yourself, you are just you. So when you see me and I'm on the stage and I'm being loud and cheering, that is actually me. Like, you know right, what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's so you're authentic and you're yeah. role as you are normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel I am. You look amazing. amazing. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you look amazing. Thank and you kind you. of, you know, it was good that we teamed up because... I, you are. <laughs> Girlfriend? Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now if you could, okay, so you've had a, a varied career then, you've done television and what were you doing with that? Yeah, I used to be one of the reporters for What Now, the children's television show oh, back yeah, in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. I did various things on Hercules and Xena, if you guys remember that show. I do, yeah. And then I landed my first major role in an international cult series called The Tribe. That was a post-apocalyptic series which went on for about eight years internationally, where I was the villain in that show. Um, <laughs> God knows why they chose that for me, but anyway, and yeah, and things like Shortland Street. Um, so that's been my life for a while. Right. And then I took some time out because I'm a mum as well, so I've got three beautiful children. Yeah. So how did you get to be the ringmistress? I've known the Webbers for a long time, very, very okay. long. I must have been about five when Marie first came into our lives. And we spoke about me joining the circus for a while, but then, you know, having yeah, kids, yeah, you kind yeah. of do your thing. And then timing just happened. They rang me and said, can you join our international tour? We're off to South Africa, where I'm originally from. So Beautiful. I was like, hello, I'm coming there. <laughs> yeah. and, um, and off I went to South Africa. And originally it was meant to be a small stint. I was going to go open the show, be there for about three months. And 10 months later in South Africa, I was still there. And two and a half years later, Wow. We're back in New Zealand and yeah. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's how I kind of became involved. Yeah. yeah. So what gets you up in the morning? I had a few um, scary health scares. Okay. About two years ago when we were in South Africa, I genuinely fought for my life. With this tour, I ended up in ICU. Okay. Out of the blue. Um, so I'm very lucky to be alive. Yeah. So that's one thing that gets me up, yeah, yeah. to be honest with yeah. you, where yeah, I yeah. go, oh my gosh. Anything can happen at any time. Yeah, I you know, know what I mean. I do. Anything can happen at any time. You can be young, fit, healthy, yeah. and there could be a turnaround. Yeah, you just gave me goosebumps. Uh, seriously, it was yeah. the scariest yeah. thing. Without going on and on about it, it was the scariest time yeah. of my life, yeah, but it was yeah. the biggest lesson as well. Yeah. So that's something that gets me up. Where I go, you know what? Life is good. Appreciate every single day, as cliche as it sounds. Every breath you take with your loved ones, and apart from your kids, who you strive for and live for. You get up just to enjoy life. Yeah. yeah because yeah. you never know when it can be, be taken gone. away. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. a heartbeat, isn't it? A That's heartbeat it. between you and, and not being here. Yeah. yeah. But That's no beautiful. regrets too, no regrets too, because it's little reminders that go, oh, don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. And so with that, what is your biggest why then? I would probably now say forget the whys and just live. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Your biggest why is why not? That's it. That's beautiful. That's it. Yeah. We question so much and it's like just uh, do it. Yeah. And try anything. Yeah. You know, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, get up, try again. Yeah. So why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah I like that. I like that. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> hey, tell me, what would you go back and tell your 18 year old self? Probably to not hold back. Don't be scared. Don't fear anything. Yeah. That's probably what I would have told myself because although I've done a lot of my teenage years um, and travelled the world doing what I love with the filming, there are times where you kind of just hold yourself back a bit because sure. you're, you're fearful of what, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, maybe I'd tell myself that. Just okay. let your hair down and just, yeah, yeah, don't worry about what people think. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's beautiful. And I, I just think every time I look at you, it's like sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> Blinging you out. <laughs> you know, I've been out blung. <laughs> It's not even such a thing. <laughs> out blung. Out blung. How can you out blung oh. me? <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing though. You're beautiful. Oh, that's what you you are. Thank you. You are. Right. Right. Finish this, this sentence for me. For me, work happiness is. So for me, work happiness is being able to smile um, and loving what you do. Okay. Yeah. Did that make sense? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, totally beautiful. Absolutely makes sense. Okay. What challenges you in your, in your work? Keeping the enthusiasm and drive to keep everyone else going because if I'm not driven yeah, yeah. and amped up, 
then you know how people feed off each other totally yeah. yeah so to keep myself and because we all had days where we're like oh yeah I'm feeling a bit and I cannot go and present like that yeah so that might be a challenge for me do you, what do you do to get yourself in that zone um, I always listen to music first before I head out on stage because music just sets off the good endorphins for me yeah um, yeah, and then I just do a few warm-ups backstage just before the uh, curtain opens and then just... Yeah. Like, what, stretching, touching your toes or... Oh. Um, a few vocal warm-ups, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A few little woos and okay. let's go, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Woo! Let's see? Let's go, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking your mum with me on stage next time. Yes! yes. Oh, my friends come through. I'm going to look amazing in one of those bling outfits. Oh my too, God, God, you will. You will. Stop it. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Have you had any of those moments when you know when you've had to yeah, hold it together and pull it back and maybe not for me, but within the show, yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, for instance, the globe. I think I was telling you guys oh, earlier. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, when something yeah. mm -hmm. like we do crazy stunts. Yes. And not everything's going to be smooth all the time. Of course. Even yeah. though most of the time it is, because they're yeah, yeah. professionals and they practice all the time. But we were in South Africa one time when they all just there was a clip of the handlebars and they all just crashed in the globe. Oh my gosh. In a full capacity show with yeah, about yeah. 900 people. Oh my gosh. When you have to hold the fort like I do and keep smiling even in a moment like that, yeah, yeah. that's actually too one of the challenges or one of I the feel, you know, scary yeah. things where yeah, you just yeah. kind of got to go, oh my god, but that is the beauty of it too because it is real and I say, yeah. and sometimes I've said, oh my, okay guys, they're going to be fine, um, let's just all stay calm and give them a round of applause yeah, because yeah. with stunts like this, yeah, yeah. we are all human and we will wall and get back up and even them in a glow when they've all crashed down after some time they get out they're a bit scratched up and the crowd's just going crazy I bet yeah yeah so times like that challenges me oh, where I, I kind of try yeah. and stay yeah. calm but um, it is what it is too because you're holding it together basically yeah and you're you're really the conduit for yeah. the for the crowd yes to know I, that it's okay because otherwise you know, exactly it would be. I just have to be prepared to improvise at any time for anything yeah. you know, whether it's a human cannon bolt or a pause and something and yeah but that's that makes it fun too because yeah. it's real yeah and it is an amazing show i thought it was yeah, really cool so glad yeah. you guys had fun oh gosh would you I stand ever? in the globe would you stand in the would i stand in you it? know how the female oh stands oh my in gosh <sighs> what did you think of that yeah i thought it was pretty amazing i'm yeah. like why would you do that yeah <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hang on, what was i thinking yeah. Oh, I might go stand on the globe while I go for... Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm with you there. <laughs> I don't even know that I'd fall out of the sky no. or the river. Just saying. Just saying. I'm with you. 100%. Yeah. What are you most grateful for? Health. Yeah. Family. Yeah. Definitely, I think those are like priority now. If you're healthy, you can be healthy for your kids. Yeah. If you're happy, your kids will be happy. So, yeah, health and family. Family, definitely. Because like we said before, Life's so short, but if you yeah. surround yourself by those who make you happy and loved ones, yeah. then you'll be happy. So that's what I'm grateful for. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And you know what you just said a second ago about looking after yourself, yes. your health, because I totally agree. You know on the airplane where you get the, the thing that shoots down? For the I've mask. never had that luckily. Yeah. However, they always say to you that make sure you look after yourself first, yes. because if you're not breathing oxygen you're not going to be able to help everyone else because exactly. if you try and help everyone else then you're going to fade exactly and i think in life if you apply that analogy to what we do how yeah. often do we give our energy to others before we actually look after ourselves oh 100 percent. and it can't be stressed enough we forget it and it's easy hey, to forget to just see to yourself make sure you're all good to then be able to deliver to yeah. your kids or to yeah, yeah. anyone else yeah um and unfortunately, sometimes it takes a health scare or a fall or something for you to realise it. So yeah. I like to kind of just stress that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We gotta look after, it. look after yourself. Yeah, yeah. And you can look after yeah. others. Yeah, that's true. And you get so much more too. Yeah, well you can when, yeah. you, when you're up and healthy yeah. and feeling good about life. Yeah, exactly. You can give so much more. Yeah, yeah. Big time. Now, is there anything you want to add? Well, first of all, thank you, and it's been so lovely meeting you and your beautiful so nice daughter. to meet you too. Like, really? I only yeah. met you guys like an hour ago, and I feel like I've known you forever. <laughs> um, that's a good sign of very good people, so pleasure yeah. meeting you guys. And you. And just to anyone out there who's watching, thanks for always supporting not only the Weber Brothers Circus, but myself, um, Meryl Cassidy, along with um, other things that I've done in the past and yeah. will continue to do in the future. And yeah, be happy, smile, love, give, and just live. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's what I'd like to add. Awesome. <laughs> Go you.
cool. You are just adorable. So cool. Yeah. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that interview with Meryl Cassie, the ringmistress here at the Weber Brothers Circus in the big top behind me as much as I did. I felt as if I was talking with an old friend rather than someone who I just met an hour ago. I love the way Meryl shared her passion for her work so, so sincerely and authentically with me and I really did enjoy it. If you enjoyed it, please like it and share it and pop on over to GinaHaines.com and check out more work happiness interviews. And while you're there, why not sign up for our newsletter so you can get the best of us first. I hope you have a fantastic day, a fantastic week, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Right now, I am seriously considering running off to join the circus. Have a great week. <laughs>